Hello, Keldar. Hello, C-Swope. Hello, Intimix. Hello, Titan. Hello Tess, hello Cordovan. How are you doing tonight? Hey, skunk. Hope everyone's doing well. That's weird, skunk. I saw your message before I saw you join. Just hanging out here until start time, about four and a half minutes left. Hello, Tokaru. I feel like there should be some theme music playing or something.
Amen. Hey, Ezeal, how's it going? Hey, evening, Pog. How you doing? Evening everybody, Seymour here, part of the community stream team on DDO stream Twitch channel. Hope everybody's doing well. Trying something a little different with my setup this time. I've got a flow IRC overlay on top of my game window so I can see people joining and leaving. And... Uh, See chat hopefully a little easier than looking at another screen. <laughs> yeah, Pog, we went from something like negative 20 to, to positive 20 today. So yeah, understand that. Just checking over on the other computer, make sure chat's visible, keyboard's visible, dragon cam's visible. Dragon should be much more visible than normal. Um, he's in a smaller cage and it's easier to see the way the camera's pointed now. So hopefully that is coming through. Um, I am on my Bard Gweeweed Beep Thrush whom some people might recognize what game character that is an homage to. But I have a different layout so uh, my windows and stuff is might be a little wonky compared to my normal layouts on my main character, but anyway, we'll deal. Um, this is a hero character, level 15. I'm on Thalanus. If anybody wants to join, feel free to send me a tell. Hey, hello, let's see. Peepsu? Peeps, S P E I P S U. Hello. Thanks for watching. And uh, earlier, I was just doing some favor running. Uh, there wasn't really anybody up for groups, so I was trying to knock off these lower level elites I hadn't done yet. Cobalt Assault left. Oh, that's right. I was going through Tangle Root. Um, there are some groups up now. Yeah, Skunk, thanks. Uh, between... That last stream I did, what was it, almost four weeks ago now, I think, and uh, vacation and then coming back and being sick and all that, it was kind of rough. But hopefully I'm sounding better, uh, feeling better, and uh, be a more entertaining stream tonight. Again, again uh, love interactivity. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves in chat, ask me questions, whatever you feel like. Uh, let's have fun and do some DDO tonight. So, I'm on Thalanus. I'm running heroic character. I can switch to epic later. But uh, for now, I'm going to take the shortcut and knock out some Tangle Root. 
this character is my Hagglebank character. Um, I've got all the inventory slots, I've got all the bank slots, I've got inventory that has a bunch of items for other characters. So I don't actually play this too much, but I would like to get it up a little higher and get some more favor. So decided to bring it out. Um, I have been playing my Sorcerer a lot recently that I finally got up into Epics. It's my second Epic level character ever. Um, I've been played my Artie the other night, which was interesting. Hadn't played that for a while. And let's see what else. Try to play my Rogue, but wasn't finding groups and wasn't feeling like trying to solo on a rogue. I don't think I've played anything else except my monk, which normally I play for is my static group, so nothing new there. So even though I'm over level for this stuff, I do have to be kind of character, especially with champions. Champions can be a little annoying. Here and there. This character's build is not quite optimized. So there's that to consider as well. I'm doing okay, but. Yeah, I always do my daily dice on this character. Well, nearly always do my daily dice on this character. And sometimes I stack up a inventory page or two of gems, and sometimes I just eat them. I almost leveled from 14 to 15 on just gems. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing. A Zerg. I'm supposed to be doing a uh, favor Zerg run here, not getting all the collectibles. So yeah, I did. Max Charisma, um, let's see, I took some non-optimal feats for actually doing much um, in order to boost Haggle. I'm thinking about using my plus 20 heart to respec, even though I'm only going to do Bard levels probably. I don't know what I'm going to do with this character, besides leveled up and at least get it into epics so that I have another epic character. I also want to get it fight for Shroud so I can start getting more Shroud mats and stuff. Is this not the one I need to get in? It's the other one. I haven't run lower level quests in quite a while. I've been playing epics mostly, so... I haven't had to deal with a lot of this lately. Ever since Swashbuckler came out, I wanted to redo this character a little bit, but I really didn't get everything set up quite right. Hello, Loaded Dirigible, something like that, I believe. <laughs> nice. That's cool, Skunk. That'd be a fun way to get some levels. Or at least progress. Yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm doing with my characters. Um, I think I'm going to keep Shaw's epic reincarnating until epic completionist at least, if not triple. And then from there, who knows? Kind of depends, because I don't think that'll happen before a Warlock, so it kind of happens with what happens with Warlock and how that changes destinies and such. <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, I could see maybe doing some IRs with Shaw. I don't know, Shaw is my favor bot at the moment, so got to get that plus five to him at least.
Yes, now can I pick it up? Thank you. Yeah, something I didn't realize was that uh, champions still appear in Epic. Or sorry, Elite. Even if you're over level. But you don't get the monster chunks. Which I didn't realize how that worked. Since I hadn't been doing any favor running or anything. I've been pretty much doing anything at that level. So you get all the fun of champion buffs and debuffs and uh, none of the monster chunk fun. Hey, Mr. Walker. How's it going tonight? I kind of want to turn this character into the Monte Cristo build, but then there's some other ones that are close that I don't know. Haven't really decided. Did all those, did all that. I think I'm ready to go to the next bit. I never remember where these are. Oh, that's fun. Displacement wearing out just so I get in the room. Character's pretty undergeared as well. Hey, Joe Kashra, how's it going? The air smells foul here. If you hear Hobgoblin shouting orders, I've definitely been playing my sorcerer the most. Got the first green steel item built for the sorcerer. That took way too many runs of shroud and DA to get. Just the basic shard I needed to start the item. I had a lot of the other ones. <laughs> I bet, Skunk. That's odd, Mr. Walker. Good, Jokosha. Glad to hear it. Yeah, you give away good, good gear. Uh, I can see. That being pretty popular, Skunk. Hi, Lionel. How's it going? I'm still trying to get a feel for it, particularly um, on my Sorcerer caster items, because that's my first... That's my only real pure caster. I don't have a wizard. I've got a cleric, and I've got Artie. And some rangers, but as far as pure magic user kind of build, that's my first one that's been up that high. I do not remember the answer to that question, Pog. I have a monk. I'd have to check his feats to see if I took that or not. Uh, patrol map's up top, isn't it? Through all the traps. I bet that's where it is. I love how displacement works out just as I get somewhere where there's mobs. That's perfect timing to displace. Love you for that.
Yeah, my monk is using LSD's uh, champion far hero champion farmer build. And uh, if you want a really good monk build, highly recommend that. I was doing lots of challenges over the weekend. Uh, got some items for my sorcerer. Farmed up. Didn't get everything I wanted. I just couldn't keep doing challenges. I was so bored of them. I want to do something else. And I hate, 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 strongly dislike, let's say, the uh, mansion ones. So I didn't run any of those. Oh, I'm trying to remember that song. LSD is the bomb. Can't remember how it goes. Something like... Yeah. Hey, Lesson, how's it going? It's LSD 37's uh, Heroic uh, Challenge Farmer. I can look at it. I think I have it open in my window somewhere. Oh, why did I go? Let me find that real quick. And it is this one. Pretty sure it's this one. Yep. That should get you there. There are some good staff builds in the forums. Um, I haven't personally used them. I know people who have. Um, had good luck with them. The nice thing about those is quarter staves are useful for multiple classes. So you can use whatever gear you farm. And as far as sticks, you can use them for lots of lives. Yeah, I highly recommend that build. <clears throat> I'm just having a blast with that monk. With that build. It's just so good. Makes soloing challenges and cove and all that really easy. Haven't gotten an evening star yet, so I can't vouch for those, but the uh, house C ones are definitely good. In Cove. It was really good in the Cove, too. I can do with getting a little more gear for that character. But I must play it in a static group where such things are covered. The challenge is I can't quite do the level 20 is solo yet. Well, I can, but I find that running them on see, 15 or 16 now, running them one or two levels higher is my optimal. Any more than that, I'm just too far behind the curve. Alright, I wasn't going to aggro you, but since you're here, bring it on. I should have a lot more dodge and double strike at this level, this character, but I don't. 
Part of it's gear, part of it's the build. As I said, I made some non-optimal choices to get things started, since it was basically bank and haggle character. It's also my crafter. Hey, Carmardrin. Do we have any update on when this optional st slay three kind of stuff without the label on what you're actually supposed to slay is going to get fixed? I noticed that in several quests lately. Slay three something. I've also I uploaded a video. Well, let's see here. Hey, will the beast and board boat welcome? What was the video? Oh, the map error. I uploaded a video to my YouTube on the a map bug that I find occasionally. It's a UI thing where you can't resize the map. The map just slides over. It's kind of odd. Should be the latest public video on my YouTube channel. If anybody would like to check that out. It is there. In my older video was... what was the other error I had? Oh, the infinite cloud kill. Yeah, that was fun. Not fun at all, actually. Hey, North Face. Hey, Consuation. Welcome everybody. Hope you're enjoying the evening and everything's going well for y'all. God, that takes forever to cast, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, look, it finally cast. I can't do a thing about it. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, congratulations to Gilnos. Drink and be merry. They have attained get level 100. Yeah, Pog, I don't know. Um, I haven't read D&D books for quite a while. All these little thing, nitpicky things get to me sometimes. Like that. Uh, Metal Turtle. Hello. Welcome. As I mentioned, I'm a little bit CDO, so sometimes those little things get to me more than other people. I understand that. I think part of that is since I enjoy DDO so much, I want to. Uh, it to be as good as it can possibly be and those little things just get to me why isn't that fixed I understand that I am on Thalanus should be in the upper right corner of the screen yeah it looks like it's there it may not be easily visible but it should be there it should be more visible now it's dark
Uh, was that Pog with the Coke Zero? Yep, it was. Hey Red, how you doing? The hobgoblins here do not seem hostile. In fact, their chief Hello Light Winds, how you doing? I have a red dungeon alert as soon as I step in. That's cool. Didn't reset from when I aggroed them last time. Which means I know where they all are unless they leashed. Which they Do they leash? Oh, we'll find out. Um, Wildebeest, economy hit hard. I haven't noticed too much. I think it's settled down a bit, personally, from what I've known noticed, but uh, others might have a better opinion. I've been poor for most of my DDO career, so I wouldn't really notice necessarily. Welcome back, Tess. Death Guild on Thalonis, huh? I sing at you. Oh yeah, I'm a bard. I should be doing bardy stuff. I forgot about that. Yeah, everybody line up in that doorway so I can sing at you. La la la. Month Flannis, if anybody feels like playing. I'm just doing some favor runs here in a Heroic 15 Bard. Um, I'll probably switch to one of my epic characters in a bit. Just thought I'd do something a little different on stream, for a little while at least. I tend to get Stuck in the same rut. Not a problem. If you don't, that's cool. I have characters on other servers, I just don't really play them, so. You know. I've got at least an iconic on all the servers. No. Nope. So you play my sorcerer. I would have hit the SLA fireball there and uh, knocked all those crates open. Because that's what you do when you're a fire savant.
Hey, client side. How's it going? Is this the wrong one? Should I have gone in that other tunnel? I don't remember. I used to know these by the back of my hand when we did them all the time and farmed some of them. And now I haven't played them in a while and it's weird. Okay, that's not open yet, so it must be this one. I knew it was one of the closer ones. That looks reasonably correct. Well, that was a nice double hit on the clerics. And Pog and Tess left, okay. There it is. You found it. The key to Splinter Skull's inner stronghold. So Gildy was taking me around uh, Underdark Shiz last night. He may want to finish that bit. I think we're going to do Portal Opens and Belly of the Beast. I'll have to ping him here in a minute. I want to finish at least this particular delve through here. Oh, what do I have for range? Do I even have anything ranged? I probably have a throwing something or other. I usually keep a throwing something or other around. Hey, Moffle2, how's it going? As long as I like, equip it. Oh, excuse me. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I don't care if I'm proficient with it. I just want to hit the stupid lever. There we go. That's all I needed. Had a nice day today. S and I put the dog in daycare and we went out for breakfast, went out for lunch, did some shopping, just spent some time together. It's nice. Don't usually do that most days between everything going on, taking care of all the animals and all that stuff. Let me check out the dragon cam real quick. Oh yeah, he's right there in the middle, posing as usual. He loves his hammock. Uh, the hobgoblin here glances around furtively, then beckons you closer. Yay! Wow, I don't even have search mapped. Wow. Oh, it's a skill done. Uh, let's put it down here for lack of a better place. Yeah, my haggle's 54 at the moment. That's the reason that this character exists. Yeah. It's a really nice option to have because he has pretty bad separation anxiety, so it, we can leave him home, but he tears stuff up. So really rather not do that if we can avoid it. So it's a nice option to be able to drop him off and pick him up. It is a hound pitbull mix. what we were told at the shelter where we got him. I 
I was using it for a while to uh, get more for my stuff I was selling. Because I was broke for a long time. Tried to get him. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty goofy, actually. He seems to enjoy our company. He's gotten used to us. We've had him not quite a year yet. I'd say maybe eight months or so. He's between two and three years old. And, uh, yeah. He's annoying sometimes, but... For the most part, he's pretty good. Since I don't have a job, I'm home all... Well, even when I had a job, I work from home, but you know, he hangs around with me all day, and then when the SO is off work, he is... never leaves their side, basically. All about the SO when they're home. We could train him better, but we've been pretty lazy about it, so. I am not, let me tell you, I'm not enjoying walking the dog, because we don't have a fence. So we have to walk him, leash walk him uh, a couple times a day, and the weather has been not fun for that. Let me, tell, let me just say that. That whole negative 20 degrees this morning, not fun. And it buying a balaclava here while we were shopping a little bit ago to hopefully uh, help with the cold, because it's pretty bad sometimes. No, not harried. So yeah, he was a rescue dog, and we, uh, talking about a dog for several years and I really I'm kind of ambivalent I like dogs just fine I like cats better because they take care of themselves more so we had four cats at the time we lost one recently so we we're down to three but um, now I'm in Ohio that cold wave that came through uh, hit the Midwest a lot. A lot of the Midwest for pretty cool temperatures. Get me out of this quest. Um, I wanted a... Well, I wanted a Sheltie. But that wasn't going to happen for various reasons. Um, so... My next pick was... Either a what was it, a Zolo or an Aussie Shepherd. And I really wanted the Aussie Shepherd rip. As far as the type, the breed I wanted, um, it was my pick because since I was working from home and was home all the time, it's pretty much me taking care of the dog all day every day, and the SO taking care of the dog once in a while. So it was more my pick, and they weren't as particular. Yeah. We actually took the dog to the um, dog park the other day, and he had a great time running around the snow. There was one other dog there that was all uh, all about playing with him. They were jumping and playing and enjoying it. That was fun. And we got to just try to stay warm and watch. He was down for like a day and a half afterwards, too. He went a lot of energy for that. It was really nice. Yeah, I like the, you know, the medium-sized, really smart, agile jo dogs. That's kind of the type I like. So that was more of what I wanted out of a dog. Uh, before, the dog our family had was a uh, golden retriever. And that was okay, but 
as I was around more dogs, I found that Shelties particular, that kind of dog were what I liked. On the other side, you won't be able to go any further. Uh, hello, Kapakas, uh, Kapakasper. Hello. Thanks for joining. Hope you're having a good evening. Or whatever time of day it is, or right in your parts of the world. So, yeah, I was really wanting a Aussie. But the closest thing we found at the shelter, but we wanted a shelter dog, so we, you know we're not going to pay a breeder, we're not going to do that. The dog was something like 97 cents when we got from the shelter, and then the license was the rest of the money, which was like 19 something, so it was about 20 bucks. Yep. I just really like the smarter, smaller, or medium-sized dogs. I don't like the little yappy things at all. really don't care for them. But... Like yappy little dust mops don't like those at all. Purse dogs kind of things. Not care for those, but those smarter ones that are a little bit bigger. Definitely like those. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? This is the key. Ah, okay. Thanks, Mist. I thought it was something like that, but I didn't want to misspeak. That's why I pointed towards that LSD build. Let's see. This is where I wanted to go. For reals. Suppose I can displace and haste. You hear hobgoblin voices chanting, echoing from far down the hallway. Hello, do a run. Yeah, I only have the one monk build that I actually play. I have another I have a Warforged monk sitting around that I don't really play. It was my first monk build. And uh that introduced me to monks and some fun stuff with them, but I didn't uh, get into playing that character as much as I love this current monk build that I have. Challenge Farmer. I tell you, a monk at Challenge Farmer is so much fun to play. It's just a blast. You can't get over how enjoyable it is to be able to have those saves and those abilities to be self-sufficient and heal yourself and still do a lot of damage and all that stuff. Interesting mix, Mist. Hi, Dirty Dexter. and How you doing? I know I asked this before, but I don't remember if I was in somebody else's channel or it was this channel or I was streaming or who was streaming. There is not a standard name for all the symbol, rune symbols, is there? I mean, it seems like each server says something slightly different or different guilds or groups say something slightly different for them. I forgot the colors. Made note of the things, but not the colors. Okay. Because I've heard several different names for all the symbols. Runes, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, you think it'd be really valuable to have a standard name for them all so that everybody knows what you're talking about really quickly.
but that is not the case. I'm just surprised. I still want the custom emotes for this channel to be the runes. I think that would be awesome. A deep sonorous voice atop the day of stand <laughs> Yeah, I've heard somebody call the one thing the sword and somebody else calls it the Duel or something like that. It says it looks like a guy with dueling pistols. Or people talk about this or that. I don't know offhand some of the names I've heard, but I've heard a lot of different names for them. I am doing crap damage to these zombies. Oh, come on, really? Just die. Thank you. Always one guy left that has to. Yeah, I think it's either what somebody remembers or just how they feel like, how they describe it based on their experiences and what they think that th think it looks like, which can be fun to you know see everybody's different thing. But I really would like a standard set, just so it's easier to talk about them. Yeah, no thanks. Don't need that junk at the moment. The hobgoblins here do not seem hostile. In fact, their chief beckons you closer. You know, I think I'm just going to go back for the moment. I'm going to switch characters here, go into my sorcerer, and see what damage I can do with that. Favorite running can be nice when I'm just warming up, but it gets boring after a while. Got a lot of favor to farm on this character. That was my original intent, was to have this character be my favor farmer, and uh, just keep it at cap with all the favor but uh, then I just didn't play it for a while so you know that happens So this is my sorcerer. Let's see here. What time is it? Yeah, we got good. Everything looks good here. All right. Let's see what we got. Group-wise, I don't think I've played at all today yet. So, in theory, my ransack should be empty. Yep, Ransack is empty, and let's see what my quest timers are. I have nine minutes until I can shroud again. So there won't be any shrouds going on. Which, uh, I think one of the th turning points of this character is going to be one more shroud accessory. So I'm going to need to run 17-ish more shrouds. Let's see. And I cannot spell again. I got completion spelled right. I couldn't spell raid, which is hilarious. So yeah, I've got three shrouds done on this character. So it'll be a while. Just 
Stormhorns, Slayers. Not quite what I want to do. Oh, wrong character. He logged off. Well, I guess I won't be doing that then. Um, huh. All right. Just kind of hoping to do that. I've noticed log off isn't working very well lately. As in you log off and it takes a minute for actually logging off. Uh, let's bring up you. So this is my challenge farmer build here I was talking about earlier. I have a lot of fun playing. It's also my static group character, my Thursday night static group. Which the rules basically are just, uh, we have to at least attempt the quest at level on Elite if we can. Keeping in mind some things, um, don't scale correctly. Don't scale like everything else does, let's put it that way. Yeah, I was going to sit here and run some of these mansion ones, and I didn't end up doing that. Because that's not fun. Hello, freeze. That was a pretty big game freeze lag thing. Let me run one thing real quick. Hey, K. Jekyll Patton. How are you doing this evening? Let's see. Is this the one that's only five minutes long? Yeah. So I'm level 16. I can run this at 17, and depending on the layout, I can get this done fairly well. Of course, that relies on being able to pick up torches correctly. Um, I'm actually going to need to extend this one for real quick. Let's just go this way. A moment, and we'll clear this trash. So it's a monk, light, so self heal, um, human, dragon marked for D door. That's really handy in challenges. And all that. This one's placed too far. It's a fairly quick challenge, you only have five minutes, so you can't mess around too much. I usually go this way first, but it just kind of depends on the map layout. If you got some purples, you need those purples to get it in time. I have failed this quite a lot with because I haven't got enough purples close enough to do anything. Yeah, that's kind of how Shaw got finally to epics, is that I just concentrated on Shaw. I said, okay, this is my highest level character, let's get this character into epics. And then once I got into epics, I just had a lot more fun playing, so I could stay there. So that's kind of how that worked for me personally. Um, until that point, well, Shaw was still my main, I guess, but I wasn't so focused. Yes, Shaw was my main, but I wasn't really focused. It's like, ah, what's on that's playing this level? And some of it was just getting comfortable with the game and saying, well, you know, I've run Corthos and Harbor and Marketplace quests on five different characters now, or some I've run multiple times just to level and try to get a feel for how the game worked and all that. And then you get to feel for how this or that character works and all that. So part of it was learning what I liked with the game. 
Um, and that's why I made a lot of the characters, was to see what different builds did and how I liked playing them. And then, let's see, I shouldn't have that there. I really should keep these guys focused. I also like putting this in the center. There we go. Um, but then, you know, my history, I burned myself out doing cove runs and I took a couple breaks from the game because I wasn't having much fun or I found something else to do or whatever the case may be. And this is actually, I think, the longest continuous time I've been playing. Um, and it's a blast still. I'm having a lot of fun with it, so hopefully this will continue. You know, this is probably a place for one of these. And if I remember this, it's awesome. Come back here, guys. Boom. Speed at least some of you up. Yeah, and I did a lot more. Well, I, you know, I created a character when somebody wanted to play the game and for the first time with me. Like, hey, okay. I'll create a character and we can play together, that's cool. And uh, that sort of thing, so I am not going to make it in time on this one. That's okay. So I've got, you know, two epic characters. This and then my bard bank that are the ones I do anything with, really on a regular basis. And then I've got a bunch of characters that just sort of sit there and once in a while I pull them out, like I pulled my Artie out the other day, just got a level or two on it. And just like, hey, this is neat, different play style on the character. And then I got bored and wanted to stop playing that Artie. So I stopped. I went back to something else. What was, oh, there's another one. I didn't see the third one. So yeah, I failed this. That's basically how you run this, in case anybody was wondering. Um, I, when I'm concentrating better, I guess I can do this better. And some of it's luck. If you get a bunch of purples in the same area, it's easier to get them. Yeah, anyway. But, you know, at no time was I really in danger health-wise. So that was kind of the point. It's a really self-sufficient character, good run speed base, has Expedition Retreat all the time, self-buff, self-buff greater heroism. It's just an all-around fun character to have. Huh. Yeah, Alessa. they survive they're not worth anything I have a see I like collecting so one that means I'm a pack rat and two that means I don't like losing things that I have so I don't really feel like I mean I have 15 characters and 13 character slots and I don't even though those two characters are just iconics at level one that I haven't touched I don't want to delete them uh, they're my characters. I have them. They're there. They exist. Kind of things. Um, I would hate to play permadeath and lose all the stuff I did. Did that's why I don't like playing other servers either. Is uh, you know I have all my stuff on this server. So why would I want to start over on another server? Basically, I get the I get like minions where you're playing okay everybody's on a other not prime server and it's a static group we play together kind of thing i kind of get that that makes a little more sense to me but permadeath or even like equipment restrictions uh groups like you only play with you pick up i understand okay you can see i have 241 compasses in my character bank does that answer your question <laughs> I have, yeah, I literally have 241 treasure compasses sitting here in my in my character bank, on this character. So yeah, 
you could say I'm a hoarder. All my character banks, I think, are completely full. Um, I try to keep some room in my shared bank. And I even use like the butter rum coffees and pirate grogs and pirate sports. I hardly ever use those, but it's just in case I might need them. I have them kind of stuff. I've got, yeah, I've just got a bunch of stuff that doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to have sitting in here. Why is that upgrade tomb in here? That shouldn't be in here. I need to get some of these characters to epic so I can eat my epic tomes and get another bank slot out. So yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of gear, and a lot of it is or was crap. I think I got went through and got rid of a lot of the crap, the true just crap. I got rid of it, but there's probably some left here than ever. Because you know, you see those. Oh, hey, it's a pure deadly item, but this character already has one. But you know, somebody else could use it because it's a pure deadly. I mean, I'm going to the auction house and buy another one. But inevitably, when I get to that level, I'm going to the auction house and buying one because. It's easier and faster than going through all my characters and trying to find the stupid thing. So. Yeah, I tried to hold on to one of them, each one, each of the name item. Yeah, it's good. I've run with some people on Thelanus that are kind of like that, and. I'll say that I appreciate sometimes that I can get a lot of quick XP with those groups. And sometimes that's what I want. But I don't necessarily have a lot of fun doing it. And especially the, given the fact that I'm not a power player, I don't consider myself a power player. I'm not an uber player. I don't have... And no one is Heroic TR. One of my characters is Heroic TR. Um... You know. I just, I mean, I don't have that, all those things and all those resources. There are a lot of the quests that good items drop, I haven't had fun in. So I don't play them. Um, I don't like Giant Hold. I don't like Veil. I don't like Shavarath. Um... And there's some really good items to drop in that stuff. I like Shroud, but I don't like the flagging quests at all. Or the Slayer area, really. I even I don't even have my first Iron Stone, period. No, I think I might have one somewhere, but it's not a pale. I have to dig that out, because I haven't even done those quests to get the Iron Stones. I got it out of somewhere else. And I haven't done any of the upgrade quests to get them upgraded. So there's just a lot of stuff like that that you know I don't I don't consider fun so I don't do I don't necessarily like grouping with people who are who have all that or do all that Sometimes it's nice just to get through things to have the XP and be done with it but that's really all it's for yeah, see, I'm, I'm not confident soloing on my uh, sorcerer, which is funny to say, but I really don't have. Uh, what am I trying to do? Uh, something to solo. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to trying to get the stupid piece of the antique great axe so I can finally epify it. That I've been trying to do for I don't know how long now. I like the snitch though, so it, that's not a hardship to run it once or twice a day. It's just that it's annoying that I don't have the item yet. And I've run this quite a bunch. The sounds and smells of the busy tavern drift in from the next room. Do I remember how to play this character? It's been a while. Won't cause a scene if you ask him a few Let's see, cleaves are in one and two. Alright. 
And I have Consecrate at the moment, so that should probably go on here. I think I was starting to get burned out playing this character. So it was... That's another reason I did my uh, Sorcerer. I, mean, I obviously want another character up at Epics, and I want another character flagged for Shroud. And that Heroic XP boost was going on that weekend. I just grabbed my Sorcerer, and that was the one I happened to take up the rest of the way. And that was a bunch of LFMs, Pug Trains, and all that. I always thought Bottle of Air was a neat item. But all my characters pretty much have coverings for that purpose. Although those don't start that low. But again, I once my characters pass that, none of them move back down to level 1. And I'm pretty sure at this point my plan is to ITR, not Heroic TR or anything. Just so I can skip those first couple levels again. Between favor runs and bringing all those characters up through all those, I just. Not a fan of doing those early quests anymore. I had to do a couple on my bard earlier, and it, even overpowered, it wasn't that great. I really don't recall it. Something like that. I have like a, a couple at lower levels and then a bunch at like 12 or 16, I think. Just because I figured that was where they're the most useful. Once you get to epics, everything changes anyway, so... Covering isn't necessarily that great item at epic levels. But it's still good for swapping back just for the underwater action if you need it. If when you need it, I should say. There are a couple quests you really do need it in. Yeah, that's another thing I don't share between characters a lot. I don't like having to swap items like that, so if it's on a character, then it's that character's item, basically. It stays there. At least while they're in that level range to use it. As various characters level up, I pass coverings to them. Pass it back and forth, but that's really it, I think. I don't do a lot of item sharing. Seven, yeah, I should be doing that too. Mm. And frankly, a lot of that stuff, you can make them all the way up, but... Again, I don't like challenges that much. Except for the Cove. The Cove, I think, is my favorite challenge. But the other challenges, just even the mining ones that are like Cove, I don't like as much as Cove itself. I've gotten used to them, and I'm okay with most of them. Cove, I think, is still the best challenge. Yeah, I don't have a TR cache, so a lot of that stuff, it's really a lot more difficult to keep around if you don't have that to fall back on to put a lot of stuff in. So ideally, that's what my main character would do. I put a lot of stuff that I may not use for a while on the on my bank character and then TR have a cache and then uh, hey look much more space to put stuff in or to have stuff in and then I all the state space you use is now open
And a lot of times I forget if I have something. So if it's not something that drops regularly from running at content a lot, I may pick something up not realizing I have two or three of them already. Your pursuit has led you out of Tanner's Alley and into a quieter, more prosperous neighborhood. Watchdogs All right, Lessa, see ya. Thanks for stopping by. Below. If you're careful, you can catch up to the and still let sleeping dogs Yeah, down. I remember that I'm not sneaky enough to sneak past the dogs, so there's no work. Just trying that. Probably going to do a quick promo break and refill my water after this quest, which is pretty close to being done. Everybody cross your fingers and all that for me getting the stupid piece of the anti-grade X that I need out of here. Oh yeah, I have trip. I forgot about that. I've been playing a caster for a while. I forgot I have other things on this character. Roderick Nettle's familiar giggle can be heard in the next courtyard. It's time to deal with him once and for all. Do to do plot points. Oh, hey, Bravo Man. How you doing, Bravo Ma? How are you doing this evening? Yeah, appreciate everybody watching. Um, I'm on Flawless. If anybody wants to play, let me know. Any questions or comments? I like to interact and have fun while we're playing here. Fire that, fire that, fire that, fire that. There we go. I think all my abilities fired. Where's my fear block? Why did I not have that on? Oh, I just tried to boss in the mean. Jerk. And yeah, no, didn't think so. Be careful about that because I think I'm about 10,000 comms. Should convert some of them to seeds, but I forgot to do that. <clears throat> so, for the foreseeable future, I'll probably keep. Uh, Shaw here doing the epic reincarnation train. Oh, dog zone. Hello, dog. How are you doing? Yeah, I know. It's been a couple of hours since I've seen you. How are you doing? All right, I'll take a break after this quest. The air suddenly shifts from tropical heat to bitter cold. It is as if you were teleported leagues away. Is that his blanket back? Okay. 
These arches have signal crystals attached on top. Are they simply decorative? With house beyond... I need to figure out gear for my sorcerer still. But I figure I just got into Fate Singer. So that'll be my third destiny. I'm just capping them as I go. I figure it'll take me a while to cap the rest. I'll just won't worry about reincarnating or anything to at least that long and then maybe twentieth shroud. Probably not using too many raid timers. So it could be a while before I get all that done. And then uh, then I'll worry more about the gear at 15 to 20. And 20 to 28 for that matter. Oh yeah, I'm not doing this this way. You jerk. Have disappeared as well as the barrier into the next chain. Unlike the previous room, yeah, that'd be cool. If comms are triple for lesser hearts as well. That would be awesome. I would like that a lot. That would enable some interesting things. Like, I just want a straight lesser heart, I don't want a plus 20. I'm thinking about using my plus 20 because I don't have another heart and I'm not going to buy it. So, it would enable me to rebuild that character without worrying too much about using a plus 20 where it's kind of a waste. Oh, well, not kind of, it's a really big waste. I'm changing from 20 bard to 20 bard. Yeah, well, 15 at the moment if I did it now. A lot of people trade my Combs of Valor for lots of other stuff that I don't have. Shroud stuff or any other crafting stuff. Literally any of the other crafting stuff in the game. I would rather probably farm comms than do some of the challenges again. Especially the Rushmore ones. Or whatever the heck that mansion is. Much rather farm comms for those ingredients. Um. Yeah, I agree. Although I am still sticking at my cleric that I don't like. I need to find a cleric build I actually enjoy playing. That would be fun. Something that's not just a heal bot. And buff bot. Why are you not targeting? I'm targeting the giant. Stay targeted on the giant. Thank you. I do not enjoy mansion at all. I don't know if it's because I just haven't run enough to be used to it and how it works, but... Have not come across... Uh, any of those mage channels they enjoy doing. I don't mind the Cobalt Island. I don't mind the extra planar mining. I don't mind the lava caves. And let's see. The Fialin chapter house must I haven't played on my monk, but I don't mind the, the Evening Star the Grove ones I've done or the you can start cavern ones. Next to the, security gates, the arena stuff. Those aren't bad. I haven't done the rune keep ones, I don't think. And I haven't done 
The Chapter House Theatre normally the uh, mansion ones very much. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gas. I want to build an alchemical great axe, but it's really hard to get that stuff when nobody runs. Although somebody was running the other day and I just didn't, I was in the middle of something else, didn't hop on to La Burma. Yeah, I'll see about rebuilding my cleric at some point to something that hopefully works better. As far as actually doing damage. display hall don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the illusion area. They probably won't attack you. Cleric was always my favorite class in any role-playing game. This particular quest is one of my favorites, and I run it all the time. I run it constantly. Sometimes twice or more a day, and I still enjoy it. The only thing I don't like is how slow Cyan walks. That's the one thing that I would change about this quest for sure is speed her up a bit I know I talked to Cordovan about that and he said well she's a contessa so she has to rock walk royally and blah and I agree with that for flavor reasons I, I can totally get behind that but as far as wanting to just get the quest over with since I run it so often we kind of like her to walk faster Is, there's just so much good about this quest. The multiple ways you endings, the different things you can complete optionally to change the ending, and the premise of it, all the different areas and variety of things you can do. Hello, Lords of Rentis. How's it going tonight? And there's Cyan, walking as slow as she can. I'll be doing a promo and quick AFK after this. CJ, fair enough. How's it going tonight, CJ? Good, good, glad to hear it. Again, for everybody, I'm on Thelanus, currently running my main character, Epic. It is my 18 fighter, 2 monk, currently level 25, on 7th or 8th life, I forget where I am exactly, something like that. Didn't say anything in the LFM, so just selling a couple things, just to... Pass the time. Hey. What are you growling at? As always, we appreciate everybody watching DDO stream, as well as our own channels and following, of course, is awesome. Get email notice when uh, we start streaming. I try to follow everybody who streams DDO, and um, there's quite a few um, here and there. I don't think there's very many who constantly stream DDO, but there's quite a few who stream it in some capacity. Stream team members and other members of the community. You're supposed to walk ahead of everybody, dude. That makes this easier. Oh, I got stunned. Cool. Ha! 
Stunned again. Wow. Did something change? Ha! That is the first time that's happened in a long time. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who you're talking about, CJ. Not me, for sure. So nice having airship portal here. I just wish I could remember to bind on the ship. I forget that a lot after reincarnating. I am in the frag on Thelanus. Alright, let me do a little bit of promo here. I'm going to take a short break after that. So, this is where you can find me. I have my own Twitch channel, YouTube website, and there's also my uh, Steam profile. I appreciate follows on Twitch, subscriptions on YouTube, and such. It's always nice. Um, here is the DDO stream schedule. Sundays at 5, Titan is on Thelanus. Um, Mondays, uh, Queen or Dag, this past Monday on Wayfinder. Me again here, f 5 o'clock on Tuesdays on Thelanus. Damsels, Wednesdays, which is tonight, um, early in the morning, 2 a.m. Eastern. Three out of every four weeks on Argo. Cordovan weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream at noon and then after that the fling group on Argo with Lessa, Samus, Grimoire, Bonnie, Cordovan and others depending on the week um, and then Friday at noon Titan from Thelanus. Uh, Queen is on break so I have removed her uh, Saturday one from the list temporarily. I did not change Mondays to DAG, but uh, because that show still happens, just may not be Queen. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, Queen is doing okay. We'll come back soon. Oop. Hit the wrong scene. All right, back to DDO. So, I'm going to take a short break here. Um, I will be right back. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves and all that. Don't go away. I will be back fairly shortly, and then we'll do more questing. Um, anybody wants to play, let me know. Be right.
And back. Well, thanks, Skunk. I know it's kind of busy with all the stuff on there. But, um... I hope it's busy in a good way. Not too distracting from the game. Um, I do like people have more pure gameplay as well. But sometimes, uh, like... You know, the first night I was streaming, I got asked... I don't know how many times, what server are you on, what server are you on, what server are you on? And it just, you know what, it was so much easier to just put it on there and at least have it there. Not that everybody looks or not that everybody sees it, depending on what the background is or whatever, but at least it's there for part of the time. Um, and then, you know, I watch quite a few other streamers here and there, trying to figure out you know what works, what I like, um, based on what other people do, what I don't like. So, one of the things I like is that when you're on a mobile phone, being able to see the chat is handy, and being able to ha have the video full screen is handy. So, and then blocking your in-game chat is a good thing, so that you know. You're not, everybody's not seeing all your conversations. So when you combine those, you get, hey, look, why don't we put the Twitch chat overlaid over the in-game chat so that uh, you get both those things knocked out at once. And then I added the easy key keyboard thing because I found that I like that a lot when... People do it sometimes. I don't know if I'm going to keep it on all the time, but for now I have it. Um, really, I have it for tutorials when I record tutorials. Um, it's so much nicer to be able to see all the key presses and all that when you're trying to figure out how somebody does something. Um, and it's just a good way to represent that. So, I'm hopefully trying through all that and everybody likes that. Well, I'm sure not everybody likes that, but enough people like it. So I'll continue with it. And some people have, you know, different screens, scenes for the, uh, given how I'm doing tonight, I may just go to normal. Just to make sure I get through this. But uh, I find it simpler to just go ahead and throw up that text overlay and say, hey, look, you know, here's my screen. You know I'm playing DDO, but I'll be back shortly. Nothing wrong with taking a break. Medically, you're supposed to get up and walk around every so often, so... Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be hurrying, aren't I, to kill the wood boat, but I don't think I'll have a problem with that. It's weird how different characters play completely differently. Not just... Um, straight combat, toe-to-toe -to -toe wise, but... Um, different abilities, like when you're having different destinies, it's a little bit of a change. But really, like, I've been playing that. Oh, I forgot to do fear immunity again. I always tell them I forget to do fear immunity, because I get feared. Hey, Bilberatory and Dresden. Welcome. Hope you're having a good evening. Something rustles in the deep foliage of the room. A second could just be seen. No, Nature Bless, it is Dungeons and Dragons Online. It is not Neverwinter. Personally, I do not like Let Never Winter. Yeah. 
the little bit I played did not impress me. Much prefer this. Hey, Dresden. Glad to hear it. Yeah, Skunk, that's kind of one reason I was concentrating on Shaw, was to try to get through as many of those as I could before that cap gets raised. Um, we'll see. That's still sort of my plan at the moment, is to try to at least get Completionist on Shaw, and then we'll see where we go from there. Epic Completionist, I mean. At least, you know, three lives in each sphere. And we'll see what happens at that point. But having another character up in epics helps with the monotony. Yeah. Right now, 2028 isn't horrible. When I'm playing well and have time and get good groups and all that, you know, that's less than a week to get to 28. But, uh, oh, and the dog has zooms. How about that? He's got energy. Hey, Dresden, I'll read your comment here in a second. It's kind of long, and I'm at the end here. What are you getting, dog? There's that now. That's good, Dresden. Yeah, it's a very big and enjoyable game. Lots of flexibility in uh, what you can do and how you build your class, how you gear your character, all that fun stuff. Multi-classing, epic destinies, feats, enhancements, there's all sorts of different things you can do to customize things to the way you feel like playing. That's, I think, as Skunk and I have been discussing over various people's channels in the past couple days, the greatest strength of EDO is just the fl pure flexibility. How you can approach quests. A lot of them have more than one way you can complete them. Um, just all sorts of flexibility in the way you play. And different things you can do. And Thursday, we have the Mimic Hunt coming up for the first time. So that'll be interesting to see what's going on. Yeah, that wonder you have at the first when you're starting to play is the best. It's awesome. Everything's new, and you explore all the different stuff, and it's just a blast. As with pretty much all role-playing games, eventually you get settled into a grind. Not that it's not fun, but it is a grind. It's cool to do that. It's cool to explore every bit of every map of every quest in those lo first levels. And find all the hidden stuff and die in the traps. And it's a blast. A lot of people will tell you soloing is very easy. I think there is... Um, soloing is, is not hard, given a couple things. Soloing is not hard if you have your character built well 
as in min-maxed, really. That's what I mean by that. If you have a build that really concentrates on making yourself survivable and do a lot of damage, um, if you have good gear, particularly, you know, twink gear, from another higher level character kind of thing. Um, if you have past lives, if you know the quests, there's a lots of things that go into soloing, making soloing a lot easier than it can be at first. I don't think a lot of people realize, you know, those first bits of play where you don't have all that stuff. You can't just go to the shop and buy a hundred heal scrolls and work, have them work on you and all that stuff. If you really are first life with no support, it's not easy to solo, especially when you're talking about elite. Even though people say it should be, or it is to them, uh, it's not really, I don't think. Um, I think it's much better to have a good guild support. Um, you can learn through pugs as I mostly did, but I there's something missing there um, that a good guild set of uh, groups will give you. Even if you get into something just like a static group that does something like runs through every quest in the game, moderate paced, I would you don't probably want to get into Zer group first thing, but and you may not have the patience for flower sniffing every quest. It just depends, but. You know, moderate group who doesn't mind taking some time to sniff some flowers here and there, but doesn't also sniff every flower and explore every corner of every map in group. Because you can always do that on your own, you know. You can always explore, you can go in on casual and explore a quest and all that. Hey, Titan. But, uh, yeah. It took me a long time to solo. I didn't really get comfortable soloing until my third or fourth epic reincarnate, something like that. I started soloing with hirelings, um, multiple hirelings because I have the two uh, permanent hirelings, higher level ones. I don't have the really low level cleric permanent hireling. Um, and then I'd bring like a favorite soul, um, just regular hireling in. And with those three hirelings then it wasn't difficult to solo a lot of stuff. Um, you have some backup, you have some things to absorb some damage, um, you have something to heal you, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's Dresden, you probably have the the best of all worlds then. Um, that That's the way I would love everybody to be able to play. I love my guild, but they're tiny, and they're in mostly in Europe. So playing together is not often. We have our static group one night a week and occasionally we'll see one or two other people on throughout the week weekend. Um, and that's about it. So I mostly solo or pug. And um, that's the way I've been playing pretty much the entire time I've been playing is mostly pugging or soloing. And you know, that's fine, but sometimes I would just like to be in a guild that does raids and all that stuff regularly. Um, I'm gonna try not to get too many comms. Check the forums. A lot of them recruit from the forums. Um, a lot of them will recruit in game two. I just saw an LFM the other day for Somebody recruiting, I can't remember who it was off the top of my head, or I'd mention them. Um, otherwise, just get into pugs and play and see what guilds are running quests the way you like, the way you enjoy them. Um, you know, a lot of people from a lot of different guilds run outside of guild, they pug and all that, so you'll be able to see them and say, hey, that sounds like a cool guild. How do you guys get into your guild? How do you recruit? You know, talk to them in party chat kind of thing. 
if you just want a guild just for the sake of having a guild, um, go back to Corthos and not have a guild, and some guilds will just recruit you there. Yeah, I was trying to get that skunk, I agree with you, um, is don't just... Like, I see people all the time asking for, hey, I want a guild with at least a level X airship so that I can get these buffs. That's not really a great way to get a guild. And that guild necessarily won't have your back for things. Like, in some guilds you'll find that are very generous and will share things and teach you things and help you through stuff and past stuff that they already have and then there's guilds that won't do that um, so I've been in guilds that are just basically holding places for alts and I didn't realize that when I got in them um, so kind of depends on what you want a guild it's really best to run with a guild and see if your play styles match um, for lack of a better term So like the guild I'm in currently is really casual. I am probably the zergiest player on our um, static group nights, so I have to be told to slow down sometimes. And uh, <laughs> I'm getting some color commentary saying that I am the zergiest and I do need to be told to slow down, um, but. You know, some of the guys really like to go really slow, and I don't necessarily have the patience for that at the lower level quest that I've done a million times. Now that we're starting to get into higher level quests that I haven't done as much, I'm not as zergy. As much? I try not to be. I try to get a better idea of how the quest flows um, on stuff that I haven't done or haven't done much. You know, just, and that's a valid thing to do too, Dresden. I mean, if you don't want to play with the buffs, then they're always optional. Um, I have this thing where I don't, like I said, I'm more of a collector and I don't like losing things and starting over. So I have them so that <laughs> failing a quest a lot of times feels like it's wasting my time. So I don't like to fail. I just like to get it over, get it done, and move on to the next quest. Not that I'm not enjoying it, but you know, I like to accomplish and move on to the next thing. And especially when you're looking at, you know, who knows how many lives to grind through. It's uh, not fun to lose. I mean, tonight I've what died twice, and it hasn't been a big deal. I don't feel like I'm really needing to progress tonight. This is more about entertainment and interactivity. Huh, I got held. So. Yeah, I was without a guild for quite a while. And even the guild, some of the guilds I've been in didn't have all those. Hey, Jay, Jack, yo. Um, so I've done without the buffs, and even now, like the guild I'm in, we don't do the old style buffs. We don't maintain them, we only have the new style buffs, which are not nearly as powerful in a lot of ways, as far as the resistances in, in particular. Um, so that's kind of nice, they're not way overpowered where you just walk through stuff anymore. They're still powerful. It still is a big boost. It's just quite so built. Just an order of magnitude difference, I think. But now they last through death and they last a lot longer, so there's that too. Which is powerful in its own way. No, I didn't want that. I was trying to get to the druid. There we go. 
keep forgetting I have trip. Hey, Hasted. Hey, Turler. Welcome, everybody. Well, this is the last I should be doing that. Keep forgetting I have that. That's the other reason I don't want to leave my current guild. I, I love my guild because I like playing with these guys. I mean, they're really fun to play with. No, it's just I'm frustrated that uh, I thought I checked that and cleared that. Um, would like to play more with the guild, and they're just not on, not available. So I've seen a couple guilds that are up on Thelonis that are recruiting, and I've been tempted to go, Hey, what are you guys doing? How do I get in this guild? Maybe I'll bring one of my characters over and see what's going on. Thorn Hollow is cleansed. But while Halsame lives... No, that's cool, Dresden. It's a, the stream's all about interactivity. That's why I'm doing it. So we can interact and talk and ask questions and all that. If I want a Zergen power game, I do that on my own time. I don't stream it necessarily because I don't want the distraction. I just want to get through quests and get them done. On stream, though, it's completely different. Yeah, I understand wanting to earn your own way um, you are near to as well. I feel like I put in a lot of time from levels, say, 1 to 10, 1 to 12, maybe, to learn a lot of how the game works, uh, where a lot of the quests are. Uh, I, always wanted to, I always wandered around and got all of the quests that I could for my level before I joined any Pugs or LFM, so at least I had the quest. Had a chance of knowing where it is, or at least could find it myself instead of having to ask. You know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I try to make sure that, you know, if I'm pugging, that I get the quest quickly. I try to join Pugs when I'm at the quest door so that I'm, I'm in when they accept me. Um, there's no waiting. I always hate when people have to run from wherever to join a quest. Like, no, you should already be here. I mean, some LFMs go quickly, but for the most part, at least on Talanis, LFMs are usually up for a while. So it's not like you have to rush to beat everybody to them. There isn't usually that much interest in a lot of stuff. Some do feel quickly, but you know, others don't. It's, it's really not a big deal to run to the quest. If you need to look it up on Wiki, look it up on Wiki. Uh, you know, make sure you have it. Have the quest. It annoys me to ask people join LFMs, and say, "Where's the quest?" And oh yeah, uh, can you share it by the way too? Why don't you already have it? Why can't you go find it? I know there was a big discussion about that um, in the forums a while back. In the the field, a tunnel, hey, Germinator. Yeah, uh, several of us enjoy DDO. Uh, it's free to play, so it doesn't cost you anything but time and download. Hard drive space, you know. It can be a little tricky to start. Um, just because it is so flexible and there's so many things you can do and so many ways to accomplish the same thing. So keep that in mind when you're playing. Um, there's a tutorial that does a decent job of explaining things, but those first couple quests and stuff, uh, dealing with LFMs and pugs and groups together and all that stuff, just can be a little bit much at first. Hey, Titan. 
Yeah, let me just finish this and we can go do something. I find DDO to be just something different than a lot of games. That's one of the reasons I like playing it. It's not quite like anything else. Um, character building and questing is so flexible. So many options on how you accomplish things and different builds and gear and twists and the destinies and feats and enhancements that it's just really fascinating all the different things you do. That's cool Titan. That's, so you're playing one of the heavy armor wizard builds then? Hello, Aerolith. How's it going? I'm trying to greet everybody as they come in. If I missed you, I'm sorry, but I am still playing. Uh, sometimes things... are coming by and I have to concentrate on other things. That's cool. Hey Terminator, thanks, glad to hear it. Like it when Twitch is behaving and everything's working well. Yeah, Earl, if uh, it's good to play alone or in groups. I prefer um, groups most of the time, but sometimes I just want to do my own thing and don't feel like either putting up an LFM or none of the LFMs that are up are what I feel like running, so I'll just run something else that I want to run solo, but you know. Nope, Titan. OBS only. Well, OBS and uh, Shadowplay, I should say. Yep, I hope so, Dresden. We have at least a couple things this year to look forward to. Mimic Hunt um, starts Thursday, which is a brand new event. That'll be fun. We've got Tem Temple of Elements Evil coming out. We've got Epic Veil, vale, Epic Shavarath, Epic Shroud, or something like that. Uh, level 30, Warlock class is coming. Yeah, no idea, Titan. Don't you have? Don't they have support for that? I thought that was one of the things to do with uh, XSplit is you have to pay for it because they have support. You should probably contact support about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Shadow play would would only let you stream to your own account, which is why I'm not one of the reasons I'm not using it for streaming. I still use it for when I stream my personal channel sometimes. <laughs> that is a good question, Germinator. Clerics can heal. They're probably primary healers, but druids can heal. Uh, bards can heal. Favored souls can heal. And then once you get into epics, anybody can heal, basically, with uh, Cocoon in particular. And then if you're Warforged, your Sorcerer can heal. Oh, Aerolith, that sucks. Oh yeah, Monks can heal themselves and others with the... Uh, Finisher. Yep, I do that all the time on my monk. And even there, uh, if you do the light attack, you get you put that healing buff on the mob as well. Um, yeah, most classes can heal in some way. Yeah, here let me put my uh, promo up here. I do have my own channel. Twitch TV slash Simorgu. 
I'm also on YouTube. I have a lot of DDO videos up. Some videos from other games, uh, mostly PS4 at the moment. Um, and then I have a website, and then there's my Steam ID as well. So feel free to follow me on any or all of those. I appreciate that. Also, follow DDO stream as well. Um, that gets you the email notification when stream starts so that you know what's happening. We have a whole team of people that stream on DDO stream. Uh, we switch off streaming, so there's all that. Um, the basic schedule for DDO stream at the moment is this. Went over to earlier. I just flashed up here for a couple seconds more. Um, Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the moment. Um, I know that there are people that on the stream team stream at different times on their own channels and stuff, but that's the main schedule for this channel that I know of at the moment. Yeah, Titan here is one of the people that streams as well. Let's see. Grab that. Yeah, I can't wait till I get my sorcerer to get over to um, Primal and get Cocoon because that was going to be awesome to have that. I have so many comms of various kinds, but I'll take some more wards. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, Dresden. Uh, Titan, what do you want to do? Let's see who else is on. Oh, the zoom. I thought I'd already hit this. Why is this loading again? Right. Did that go through? Can't tell. Titan one. No. You're already in a party. Titan. Hey, Rick. Gives. Oh, hey, look, there's a shroud up. How about that? Let's see what my timer is at the moment. Hey, I have no timer. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I do a shroud or not, but... Um, well, I haven't done the daily stuff. So there's, oh, let's do a thing here. Um, don't drink the water. This way you get your dungeon and dragon. long climb down the well, you find yourself in a cavernous expanse. You can see that the well water is fed by the fetid underground stream. Oh, that's right. I was going to check my monster chunks and see how many I had. Curious as to how many I've collected so far.
They're all over me and through invis, isn't that nice? The source of the poisoned water lies above and beyond this waterfall. So invis through the first part to lessen the uh, aggro. Make it faster. The cabin ahead looks different. You must be close to the surface once again. A Yuan Ti priestess has raised a magical barrier preventing you from passing further. Let's see if the bear nope. No bear this time. So I usually have problems soloing this um, with the dragon. I do fine until the dragon, and then I get uh, blasted. So hopefully with Titan's help here, we'll just get through this. No problem. Well, that's nice. Taking more damage than normal. See, so yeah, oh, stupid acid over time is what's getting me. Got it. Whew. Did he just interrupt my Consecrate? That's rude. It's rude to interrupt somebody's Consecration. Hmm. Having more problems than usual today. Probably because I haven't been playing in a while, so... Not quite up to my usual. Um, I knew I want to trip you, though. Trip didn't work. Cool. That's always fun. Alright, that was a little more exciting than it should have been. Yeah, um, not sure what the solution to uh, the soloing thing is. Because I agree that. I would like to group more often, but I also like being able to do what, whatever content I want at the time I want to do it, not have to wait for people. So what I remember seeing was that that was the main feedback, which is the reason they kind of light things up, was that people didn't want to wait an hour to get a healer. People didn't like having to play a heal bot. Um, so they wanted a way to make people more self-sufficient because that's what people wanted to play. That's how they wanted to play. So I can understand that. Oh, I haven't killed a tree. I forgot to kill a tree. Arjun? There it goes. That acid dodge is really getting annoying. Oh yeah, look at that. That'll be fun. I even notice that. Yeah, I've seen several people propose different solutions in the forums, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. And then other people are saying they don't like that you're forced to group, which doesn't make sense to me because you're not forced to group. 
Maybe for some quests or some content, sure, but in general you're not forced to group. I don't know. I mean, what they did for the um, trap bonus was perfect. You get 30% more XP if somebody disables all the traps. So that encourages you to group with a trapper or, alternatively, build with trap skills, which is what a lot of people do anyway. But I don't have trap skills, so I have to group with trapper. So like when I do Spies in the House, I generally put up an LFM for it. And, uh... Hopefully get a trapper to get that bonus 30% XP. You know, that's one of the ways I know things have changed for me personally with that particular thing. It's, hey, 30% XP for really no effort on my part. Put up an LFM and then hit accept. Particularly if it's a trapper. I mean, that's nothing. I'm not going to wait, but if they come in and I get that person who has the uh, trap skills and will disable the traps, that's awesome. I'll take it. Yeah. There's ways to do it with uh, some of the mobs or a summon or hirelings and stuff like that. It's a couple gigs, I don't remember how big exactly. Off the top of my head. It is not a quick download. Unless you're on a really, really fast connection. An acrid, sickly scent assails you. The source of the poison water must be close. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll go ahead and shrine here. The boss is coming up. Spoiler alert, the boss is a dragon. So we'll be fighting a dragon here shortly. And let's see, what do I want to do? Yeah, let's finish this. And then I, I don't mind right during that shroud. Hopefully it's more full than it was. Uh, put my ass resistance goggles on. Are we ready? That will help. Let's do this thing. Yeah, Dresden. See you around. A large green dragon has made this cavern his lair. That must be the source of the Yuan Ti's poison. The great beast looks at you and speaks. Let's see. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. No, nope, we're not gonna do that. He's a jerk, and it's not firing. Fire my ability. Thank you. Yeah, I think the core of those quests are pretty well, very well done, as far as that's concerned. First time you're like, oh, finally, I get to see a dragon. It's cool. Yeah, this is Green Dragon. Um, CR 33, I'm 25, Titan's 28. So it's not that big of a deal. That's just, it doesn't end well when I solo that. Well, this dragon scale, not bad. Hey Titan, do you have greater teleport to Meridia?
Yes, I do. All right. And there's the best part. I don't even have to walk to the quest. Next quest. The Titan's got greater teleport. Takes us directly to Meridia. And then we can join the Shroud group. Oops. Got a drop group. So yeah. That was a dragon. Green dragon. Epic. Pretty decent fight. Hopefully this shroud doesn't take too long to fill. I don't like sitting around too long on stream doing nothing, but it is hard to pass up a shroud. over level and has cocoon if they need it anyway usually or heal scrolls so it's usually not a requirement and I'm pretty sure with five of us we could do it not too bad That's cool. So, yeah. Looks like we're going to start in five minutes regardless, which is good. Out of range, it's sitting right there. Yeah, I need to finish off my favor here. Let's see what I've got. I'm currently at 43.35. I need that 5,000 for the plus 5 tome. So, it's a bit left. I currently have all the favor up through Crucible. Oh, I should have joined the E Crucible the other day. I forgot I needed that. So I need Elite Crucible of some kind. Uh, I'm running with the Devils, which I should be able to get if I can just find the group for it. Steeler Souls, I want to make need to make sure I'm flagged for that. Um, I tried Elite Prayer on the Hunter a couple times solo, and it just wasn't working, so I might need help there. Hey Doc 435, how you doing? Need to monster the scorpion and the kobold, and then some stuff I don't have. Um, I don't have the newest delirium pack, so I can't do those. Never done mind sunder jeeps or some of this other stuff. Some of this higher level stuff I skipped. Um, I went straight in into epic, and then I didn't need it to get epic level 20, and then once I got level 20, I went into epic stuff and didn't really look back for a while. So, you know, there's that. All of this 18, 19 stuff I get to do. Yes, they are, Rikivs. Um, Haunted Halls of Eden Star is in. Temple of Elemental Evil is coming next. Hopefully next couple months. 
So you'll see. And uh, who knows what they do after that. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool trend to have some of those old classic modules be in the game and playable. Looking forward to it. So yeah, there's some interesting things coming. Um, yeah, at one point I was going to do all the wilderness stuff, but I decided not to worry about it. I should get the last of those Thunder Home ones for the XP, though. That's some really good XP up there. You know, it's a personal preference. Um, I know there's some of us that like it an awful lot and play it quite a bit. So, you know, if it looks like something you like to play, then give it a shot. If it doesn't like something you're interested in, then by all means, give it a pass. Go somewhere else and do something else. But it is based on D&D, so if you know D&D, you have kind of a leg up on it. But the biggest thing is the flexibility. There's so many things you can do with your characters and so many different ways to approach quests. There's barely any PvP. If you like PvP, this is not really the game for you. It's You can go into taverns and that's it. Do some PvP. It's not a major part of the game. So if you're looking for PvP, I mean, I don't, I don't PvP. I don't care for PvP. I like grouping and co-oping better. So I'm not the person to ask about it, but I do know it exists, and some people do it. But I also know that people who really enjoy PvP don't like it because there isn't much of it. As far as I know, it's just the tavern still for PvP. Three, six, seven, so I'm on life number eight. I suppose I could actually talk to the dude and get the raids started. So yeah, if you're looking for PvP, um, although it does exist, I wouldn't recommend it based on what I've heard of people who do PvP a lot, or who like PvP. Party chat's talking about uh, somebody took three years, but he earned all the 
stuff in game for free. You never spend a dollar. And other people just pay monthly subscription. So I'm the middle ground there. I bought things, but I don't subscribe generally. Yeah. I spend a lot of money on this game. But then again, I played it a lot too, so. Just thinking, probably dollar per minute wise, it was pretty good. Yeah, I haven't heroic reincarnated or iconic reincarnated, but I've epicked and I've been enjoying epic a lot more than heroic, so I keep doing that. Yeah, I don't really understand the boxes. I mean, I do to some extent, but $50 just so you don't play the game. I don't quite get that. I mean, sure, if there's a sale on points and a sale on boxes, you can maybe get a deal, but still, that's... I don't know. Yeah, you figure boxes are about, what, 50 bucks a piece, give or take, depending on deals and stuff. That's a lot of money. It seems like it, because a lot of people have them, or have used them. I have not. Again, I understand to some extent, but I don't understand why you wouldn't want to play the game. It seems like all you're doing is bypassing playing the game, which is the whole point of the game is to play it, so... I understand that people want the past lives for this or that build, and they just want to get them now, now, now. And to the, for that end, I understand why you'd want to use them. But me, I just would rather play the game. Part of it is earning those past lives and experiencing that stuff, not bypassing it. Yeah. Different people. Yeah, I've got some from the anniversary cards and some daily dice rolls, and then people pass them to me sometimes. But I don't use them use them very much either. The raid bay pass timers. I mean. I don't know what do you mean by a lot. Right now, on the server that I am on, there are lots of people playing. You can see everybody playing. I'm scrolling through the list, and it's quite long. I'm not going to count them, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I figure about ten per page. And there's, I don't know, 20, 30 clicks, so a couple hundred people on at a time. 
past lives. I am on Thalanus. Should be showing you in the upper right corner of the screen, although it might be hard to see with the, given the background at the moment. Um, so there's a reincarnation aspect where if you get to, I'm doing epic re reincarnations, so there's that. If you get to level 28 and do some destiny XP things, you can. So this is Epic Destinies, and if you have 6 million XP in a Destiny Sphere and you're at level 28 with your XP maxed at 6.6 .6 million, then you can reincarnate back to level 20, and you get some feat bonuses for doing that. That's what I mean by Epic Past Lives. That's what I have. That's what these feats are here. Uh, you can see my past life feats here. I have three double strikes, three fast healings, and one power over life and death. So it's a total of seven past lives right there in my epic feats. If you get 12, you get another fate slot, which I don't want to go into at the moment. There's also hero reincarnating, true reincarnating, which is going from 1 to 20 and back to 1. The difference there is you basically start over with nothing except everything in your inventory in bank, as I understand it. Um, nothing else, but then you get benefits for doing that. So like if you're a barbarian, you get 10 extra hit points, for example, and blah, 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 blah. There's a whole big thing about it. If you look on DDO Wiki for past lives, um, yeah, you can get into that. I really didn't understand the whole Epic Destiny thing or the reincarnation thing until I was up in these levels and... It made a lot more sense once I was using it, but yeah, my current plan is to get to Epic Completionist with this character. That's the current plan. So I'm on life 8, that means 4 lives after this, you need 12 lives for Epic Completionist. People aren't joining now. I was going to say, there we go. Get some more people in here. It's over half full. We should, this should be the last couple people coming in. We can go. On the one hand, it sucks to be casting a... Waiting for a raid. On the other hand, it's nice to actually cast the raid, so broadcast or whatever. Yeah. Reincarnation is completely optional. Yeah, for me, right now, epic past lives seem to be the thing to do, so. I'm getting more powerful, getting more survivable. Um, I can see this healing I get. Each minute I get five, heal for five plus five per five character levels. And I've got that three times. Plus maximum HP. It's a passive bonus. And then right now I'm getting the power of life and death, which is me healing amplification. Or no, positive healing. Positive spell power, that's what it is. And then physical resistance, which is also nice. So... Um, yeah, people are just doing their drink, bios, potions, whatever else. He said three minutes and we're ready to go, I think, about a minute ago. So hopefully next minute or two we'll be starting. Yep, yep, yep.
That's cool. My positive spell power is not good at all. I have 80. You get um, the passive ER benefits in if you uh, hero TR, don't you, Skunk? Do the stances work, or do they only work in epics? Oh, the stances do work in heroic? Oh, man. <laughs> so basically, after you epic completionist, then your heroic lives must be cakewalk. Because <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous. More levels, I can put my better gear on. So you go the spell crit, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I could see that being nice. <laughs> I've seen I mean, the epic past lives I have now make a big deal of difference in epic, so I can't imagine being able to use those in heroic. But maybe they aren't as good. Again, I don't know if I'm going to. What I'm going to do as far as possibly. Uh, doing other things with this character. Do some iconic lives, do triple epic completionist, do some heroic lives, I don't know. Looks like we're going in finally. So welcome to the shroud. DDO raids are 12 person. Normal groups in DDO are six. Max. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I would like to have a true completionist at some point. So now you're ready for Warlock, right? So you can do three more lives, <laughs> at least. Do you actually use the uh, epic or uh, completionist feat? The heroic completionist feat?
all the builds. Oh, I hate not being able to see like that. It's too bright. I forgot to check my bank to see if I need any shards. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what I pull. I don't think I need anything at the moment. Not on this character. My sorcerer, I need stuff. So I built the hit point item first for my sorcerer, because Drow Sorcerer, hello, hello hit points, right? And I've got a spell point item planned. Just need the cleansing stone to be able to, to be able to wear it, of course. But that'll be the least of what I need for that character before I do anything more in heroics as far as reincarnating. The first part of Shroud is the fun part where you kill portals and various mobs that stream out of them, but mostly kill portals. It's very low stress, not a big deal. Most people run Shroud over level anyway, and it, so you're ridiculously powered in comparison to uh, the stuff. Yeah. Link your Shroud beater. Link your Harry beater. Harry loves hugs. We always hug Harry. And Raid Leader has doorbell. That's Yeah, it was weird running Shroud on my Sorcerer for the first time. Because I'm so used to being on Shaw and just running right up to Harry's knee and hugging him. It was really odd to be having to stand back and cast. Finish that one. So, what's left the one over here? I never did shroud back then when you had to do that kind of stuff. I will be on the crystal. So, yeah. And I got a shard. Anybody want a shard? I 
don't feel like dealing with rolling, so... It was really weird staying back and casting that. So I spent a lot of time on this character building up the gear and path lives and all that stuff. And I'm fairly okay survivable. In Shroud, certainly I haven't had too many problems of late. And uh, yeah, then being on a squishy sorcerer was a different experience entirely. The second part, there's some trash to clear, and then uh, in the back there's a crystal, and there's some mini bosses. And the trick is you have to kite the mini bosses away from the crystal. Well, I say have to. That's kind of strong. You need the usual thing people do is they kite everything to this purple wall. All of the Don't fight them right there. Bring them to the, see the uh, barrier. Yep. Russell, it is a shroud. And then you have to get them down to zero hit points, separate them because they're invulnerable. They can't die when they're together. Separate them, they die. Kill the crystal, purple barrier opens, and the part two is done. It's pretty simple when it goes well. The trick is sometimes people don't listen. and it doesn't go well or they don't coordinate or they're off doing whatever and not doing what they should be doing which is kiting some guys um, if you have a preference you want to kill the slowest moving guys first because they take the longest to get back well, who killed already jeez There's another hotfix tomorrow. Kill them all. I'm gonna be Kill. back in a second. Oh, cat's alive. See, we're getting messages that they came back. Yeah, this one isn't going well. So, the fire elemental and the cat are the fastest. And those are the ones you want to kill last, so you get a chance to kill the... You have the other ones walking back slowly, and the fastest ones you just kill and they're done. So, ideally, you know, things happen that way. Sometimes people just don't pay attention or get lazy or think they can do it all themselves or whatever, and it doesn't go well. So absolutely do not kill the cat yet. Oh, and somebody's got an auto cannon on their shoulder that is just doing damage. So they're not paying attention, so they're going to kill him if he gets kited back. It's the other thing. People don't think about their pets or their other things. <laughs> So for a bunch of people the who cat it on me, come get him. Probably run this a bunch. Aren't really doing this right. Hmm, level 17, 18 here. Didn't realize that. I usually uh are way over leveled in here.
They're going down so fast, I'm just gonna stand back and wait. Just hey, he's up, he's up. Oh my god, people. Where's the cat? Somebody's gotta take the cat down. Oh, cat's at the crystal still. Okay, crystal, see if you can get it. Oh, got it. Wow. Good job. Done. Not quite sure how that happened because I thought everybody was at the crystal again. Well, someone isn't paying attention because in party chat they did say they did give the basic plan. So, all right. Sometimes I have an idea of what I'm doing. Other times I just use a solver. Except my tablet isn't turning on. I got it with Ruin, Seymour. One hit. That's cool. That was probably a very short window to do that. Oh, my tablet's not working very well. All right, so let's see what I can do here. I don't know what I'm doing. I practiced with the solver tester a couple times. And... That should do it. Hey, look. If that's around enough, you can get it. Another advice I gave you here is follow the blades. Go with the blades, not against them. Oh my, five by five. Because they can hurt. One of the single door. I have knocked, by the way. So in this part, you have everybody supposedly gets into a different part of the thing. Sometimes you get multiple people in one thing. Maps. You have a puzzle to open your door. And once that's done... Then you have this face here that you fill with water from the fountain in the middle. Southeast corner. Once you get all those, then everything opens up. There are some crystals above things you can use, but if you do that, you miss it on two extra chests. There's some crystals you can see over there in the background. Um, so you want to avoid that if you can. And it's really easy to look up a solver. I happen to have one on my tablet that's not working at the moment. Normally I use that. But you can just search for Shroud Puzzle Solver or something equivalent, and you can get a helper that will tell you exactly how to solve all the various puzzles. The easy ones are 3x3s. Three there's a 5x5, five five, some 4x4s. Four there's a circle one. Ah, uh, dang it. A couple of different variants of the same puzzle. So, and see, Margu, if you we want... take too much time in here, yes. that, um, for anyone in uh, Twitch chat, if we take too much time in here, that the wall will come up, and if we get hit by the wall, it will instantly kill us. Um, I was in a group that killed the crystals because we were like two manning it, and we didn't have a person who could unlock. One for a lag wouldn't be so hard to do these. So. Lag is also another reason to use the crystals. Um, it works, just use it on those chests. It's not really that big a deal, I don't think. I was in one the other day where somebody just stood at their puzzle for like the whole time. Didn't look up a solver, didn't try to do anything. I don't remember if they said, they may have said they needed help, but... Um, for like, I don't know, five, ten minutes, whatever the time was. They took way too long doing it. And uh, yeah, the fun part is 
the w rainbow wall of death that happens if you take too long in this section. Which I've run into. Which I actually ran into with uh, the two man one we did. We took way too long. And that happened. It's certainly doable that way, but none of us really ranged either, so it took a while that way, and we ran into the wall, but I think we avoided it mostly. Yeah, we did. I don't think it was on Elite, but uh, we did. I've completed it several times with only two or three people. It's not very difficult when you're way over level like we are. At level, I can see it being much harder, but we just wanted completions, and Nobody was joining the LFM, so we just said, hey, let's just start. And it worked. I don't know if we're going normal or hard. We didn't, I don't, I don't know. Did we do it on Elite? I don't remember. I want to say we didn't do it on Elite, but we did it with only two of us. I think there was another person who joined late and it was piking. Again, just wanting the completion. The trickiest parts were separating the mini bosses and then avoiding the wall of death because we took too long killing the crystals. But completing it isn't terrible if you just want a completion. Speaking of which, this will be my 36th shroud. Almost at 40. Oh, hey, it looks like we're going. I won't, and it took us a long time too. I won't want to say it's fast or anything. It wasn't a good run, but it was definitely doable. Learned a lot about the raid that way. Like exactly how the crystals work, exactly how the separating the guys works. It was very informative to, to run it that way. I do recommend it for that reason alone. Stupid blades. Hello, Harry. Have some hugs. Harry likes hugs. It should be. Enough of us are over level enough that it shouldn't take more than one round, but you never know. Sometimes DPS just isn't quite there. This is looking decent. last through this next part we should be good. Yep. Oh, there we go. 
Before the baits even got really dangerous. <laughs> you see my damage healing scrolling? For a little bit longer than I was taking it. I see Morgan. I was hitting him for uh, 200 base. Get this here, get this here. I really don't need to rest. This part's always fun. That was base. And here's the part where you die. So a lot of people play, try to play pranks with this, but... The unavoidable death here is cause of some humor sometimes. Aw, oh, everybody died. I love that hint, do not release. Is that like my love will go on? Our spirits will find on? Oh, party wipe. Everybody recall. Yeah. You just shrine, so why wouldn't you buff people, right? We're going into the final battle. Why would you not buff? Because it doesn't matter. Hopefully I have somebody's aggro. Nope. Split them up. Then they'll die. Somebody tank Harry. Keep him there. Come on. There we go. Now we can settle down. Just kill him. Yeah, the first couple times I ran this, I had no idea what was going on in any of the phases. I was so confused. Like, oh, people are killing things. Maybe we should kill things. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not understanding why they're doing not killing them now and all that. But now that I've got probably, what, 38 total? Because I have, like, three on my other character. Runs down. It's old business. Not a big deal anymore. Just do the things at the right time. And there you go. Harry's dead. Wow, things are still scrolling. That was a bit of lag. Combat lag there. Courteous. Sometimes people just want to farm ingredients they don't want to complete. So you let them do the detours. 
Yeah, I just want ingredients. I don't want anything else, really. As long as I get ingredients, I'm good. It's a good idea to stick around if you uh, need shards and stuff. If not, it doesn't matter to go ahead and leave. Yeah, I think I saw at least one or two in there. I didn't really check. Um, let's see. I'll take some pebbles. So my sorcerer's second or third run of shroud. I was getting frustrated because I couldn't construct anything because I didn't have the first level shard of power. It appeared in my end list. So I was able to do it from that. Awesome. I was like, rah, 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 this thing. I need that stupid freaking shard of power. Can't get it. And then it appeared in my end reward list. So I was happy. I had like five or six great shards drop. And I think three, three or four Supremes. Could not get one single regular shard. Until finally got it. So that was a shroud raid. I forgot to check the time on it, but it seemed to be, go fairly quickly once we got uh, things together. Let me sell my trash and hopefully not forget to uh, gather my ingredients so I don't accidentally sell them. Which has almost happened several times. Yeah, a lot of people have run this for years, so they've got a lot of stuff stocked up. I did not have that, so... What the heck? Uh -huh. Yeah, let's see. It's not about need, it's about the fact that green still, I've heard about green still for so long that I just wanted some, so I've got bracers blank, I've got a belt blank, I've got smoke and hit point helm, I've got spell points, con up, goggles, I've got protection from everything, cloak but a blank necklace sitting here. Plus, of course, my I've got my uh, min two act, great axe, and then my triple positive uh, staff. So yeah, I'm curious to see what uh, epic green steel is going to be. I would like to do spies and whiz king. In fact, titan. That's what I'm going to go to. I'm going to put an LFM up for Spies and then Whiz King. Nope, still no green, still hand wraps as far as I'm aware. Which is garbage because I would love to have green, still hand wraps on my monk. But can't do it. Nothing I can do about it. Um, it's nine, I forget now. It's been so long since I've done this. There it is, it's eight. And let's see, it's the party size is six. Let's set the lower range from... 2028 because I really don't care. Hey, Rick, here's all right. 
talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by and hope to see you next time. Hey, I'll be right there. Again, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, do appreciate following both uh, DDO stream and my personal channel at Twitch TV slash Cmorgu. Nice to have you here. If you haven't said hello in chat already, please do. Uh, Blame Kane, hello. See you joined. There are three wizards in this party, and me. Hopefully one of them at least has uh, some rogue skills. And I have a paladin. That's more like it. Oh, hey, Crumb. An example of a party feeling really fast. Happens sometimes, but not all the time. It's kind of prime time for the server, though. to join me. Hey, come here. Join me. This is one of the daily quests that give lots of XP for the effort you put in. You hear a prisoner's voice calling for help. Oh, looks like everybody's in. Thorax runs off across the bridge and disappears in the pit. You hear someone timidly asking for help. Let's see, am I? I don't remember if I'm in. Nope, I'm not. So I keep that staff around just for the uh, community slippery services. It's very handy for this quest in particular. Oh, come on. Get me out there. I love as a sorcerer, I just fireball this thing over here and it's all done. But, uh, melee, not so much. It's one of a couple places I make sure to check for breakables because if you get other breakables, you get 10% XP bonus. And that is worth having. I do believe. I didn't know you could do that. Let's 
Let's see if my luck holds here. The past couple times I've been able to... Nope. Not quite able to do it. On you, man. I got nothing. Oh, yeah. Who is talking? Let's see. Let's see. You good or do you need me to come back and give you a jump? <laughs> nah, nah, I already hit one. Cool. Okay, it's way back earlier. Yeah, if you don't have a good jump, this quest can be a real big pain. <laughs> The place I switched to the throwing star there a minute ago was the other the second place I checked for breakables. Those are easy to miss. It was over there on the other side of the thing. I usually do it down there so I don't forget. So if it gets up here, I have a tendency to maybe forget to do it. I love hearing the unlocking sound. Let's see, make sure I put my feather fall in here, because otherwise this jump. Next whole part is tricky if you don't have feather fall. And the most rubber bandingest jump in the game that I that I know of didn't turn out too bad this time. Sometimes it's gonna be a real pain though. I'm going to presume he's got that third lever, or valve, or whatever you want to call it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Just do my jump bit. So yeah, about that last fire elemental. There we go. Yep, almost 63k at the moment. Get those two boxes there, get these couple boxes over here, and then that should give you 8% bonus, which you can see I have mischief of 8% there. So then the only other thing you need is the last couple near the end. And specifically, I think you need one of the last two that is actually past the trigger point for the end of the quest. So you have to be careful not to trigger the end of the quest before you trigger that. I am dancing.
those two, and then you need one of these last couple back here. I'm just having a hard time seeing, but there's a 10%. That's what you need. So. Uh, where is it? There it is. Give everybody a couple seconds to make sure they have their voices on, and then we go. Got up, and we do have a dimension door. I don't know if I got that because my mouse kept sliding. Alright. Almost 120k Titan. Not bad. Just take this. Everybody out. Nope, somebody's still in. Titan, was that you that was still in? Yep, it was. All right. Take your feather for off for this first part. It's a long drop, otherwise. Oh, I should have checked to make sure that my, uh, or that the trap bonus was finished, but I forgot. Usually, if they, if the trapper is in at the start, they keep pace, but sometimes they come in late, they don't, and I forgot to check. That was bad of me. Ah, I missed it. That's annoying. That was interesting. I got a Vicar of Battle buff in the middle of the air. Alright. I missed my trip. What the heck? my trip again. That would have been a nice trip effect had it landed. Oops. Went to hit 8. Can you jump?
love the timing of those meteors, always when I'm just finished with the guy. If somebody wants to go, ah, hmm. uh, guess what? I didn't have on Featherfall. I forgot I had switched my other ring. So let's switch to Maria Feathers. Yep, nobody did it. Do a fireball or rune arm or something. You can break those boxes by anybody having to deal with getting over there. It's much faster. The chest isn't necessarily worth getting, but. Hello, KW Bonin. How's it going tonight? I hope everybody's doing well. Ah, missed the air jet. So very much slower. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Nope, nobody got those. It is very interesting. I hated it the first time I ran it. I really hated it. I thought it was the worst thing ever. Now I really, really enjoy it. I run it sometimes twice a day per character because um, it's just it's good XP at epic levels and uh, it's a lot of fun. Once you get it down and have all the necessary jump and resistance and everything. You dev valve down below. It took me several runs of it to get the hang of it. It's one of those where the map doesn't help you at all. Not at all. Here's the weird jump, which It's really hard to tell where you are because um, of the lag and rubber banding and stuff. Yeah, oops. Need to finish this before I leave it. What? Interrupted. Yeah, it's really insane the first time you try it. You have no idea what you're doing. I didn't know anything about it. I just said, hey, let's do this quest. I haven't done it yet. And tried to solo it. <laughs> Not on a trapper, on this character. And it didn't go well. At all. Was not prepared for it. Now I can solo it on this character pretty easily. It's just I don't get the 30% XP bonus, so that's why I group for it. This and Wiz King um, run them most days, and it's just easier to group because this one you get the XP bonus for a trapper, and the other one you don't have to solo all the towers yourself. So, it just makes sense to 
do them in group. And a lot of people do that along with Vaughn 3, which either way, it's just as easy to solo that. It may take slightly more time, but not horribly. And I am still dancing. Uh, not cool. All right, do we have our 10%? Yes. Do we have our 30%? Yes. Okay, I think we need to go. It's just so good XP for how much fun it is to jump and Mario around there. Yeah, just ran that. Thanks for the group, guys. Take care. I will run there. All right, looks like I'm putting the elephant back up. Now we're going, this one's 11, isn't it? Chamber of Ramat. Where is it? Tomb, tomb. What? Oh, there it is. It's level 12. And it's lag central is what it is. Whew, wow. Oh, Silky, I didn't see you join. Thelanus should be in the upper right corner of your screen. I'll go ahead and sell some stuff real quick and then get over to Wiz King. Oh, I forgot my haggle hat. Oh, well. Yeah, it kind of blends in. I'm, I was trying to have it visible, but not too prominent. So I understand if you miss it, but I get asked that question so often that I have it on the screen at all times. I obviously have the wrong... It's easy to get LFM for these um, if you don't want to run it yourself. A lot of people do Wiz King, Spies, and Vaughn 3 as a kind of a loop. And there we go. Three paladins, two wizards, and my fighter. It's amusing.
we ha. Hey, Azure Princess, how you doing? This impressive structure houses the tomb of the Wizard King. Oh, come on. Don't do that thing where you aren't going to show me the... There we go. like three people are in and on their way. Four people from the blue dots. One, two, three, four. Yep. Well, that's not fun. Having to recover from something like that's never fun, Azure. All right, waiting for these other two people to get here, and then we'll start. I presume everybody else knows the drill, and those last two will come when they're ready. Yeah, it looks like everybody's here now. We may as well go ahead and get started. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Seriously, no one went left. All right, there's two people out now. Yeah, it's nice to control everything that goes on. Just to make sure you're aware of what you put on and everything. I had two SSD failures relatively recently that required starting from scratch. Was it not fun? really isn't bad for a full reinstall. Yeah, tight. If you gotta go, we gotta go. I'm not holding here against your will. This is also a weird one to run on my sorcerer because I had to approach things slightly differently. Couldn't serve quite as fast. Mostly it was fine, but there were some parts that had to take a little bit slower. I like the times that I, I had to reinstall, I had another laptop as backup, so it wasn't a horrible thing. It's 
worse when your internet's down. I think that's worse. Yeah, having good internet speed helps getting things back. I think this is the cloak I want. Yep, that's the cloak I want. There's the jerk. Yep. That's the way to do it anymore, I believe. I haven't had cable TV for a long time. Hasn't been worth it. One thing I would like is even better speed than we have now on our net. I really want the Google Fiber 100 up, 100 down. That would be awesome. Not here yet. Oh, I managed to put that when we were out so far. And then four mummies at once just finally did it. A genie blocks your path. I Did he get bored yet? Yep, he did. <sighs> Teutonic drone, hello? This is overkill. Got three people in the same tower. One or two are usually fine. You spy the Wizard King's treasure chamber through See, I thought I relocated these. I did, didn't I? I cannot agree with but Giant Hold. I do not like Giant Hold. Galeras is good. I love the Snitch. I love Party Crashers. I love Spies in the House. This is pretty good, but I don't I wouldn't say I love it. Again, everybody, thanks for watching. Appreciate follows both uh, here on DDO stream and my own personal channel. That's C Morgu, C M O R R I G U. Also on YouTube and the other places on the nets. I'm part of the community stream team, so I'm just a, another player. Um, I have the opportunity to stream on this channel. There are several of us. We try to keep the schedule fairly full during the week and weekend, so you can see DDO quite a bit. Um, there are also a bunch of people who stream on their own channels um, as well. I'm probably going to go... Let's see what we have. One more, whisk, one more whisking to go, and then I'll go after that. So, 
not quite over yet, but I did want to thank everybody for watching. I do appreciate everybody hanging out, uh, chatting, either or both, you know, whatever you feel like doing. It's all good stuff. So I get the feeling that uh, one of the towers, probably tower number two, no, tower number three might be having problems. Don't know why uh, we had three people in tower one, but that's okay. Not a big deal, just takes a little bit longer to finish the quest. They're at the freight, so it shouldn't be too much longer before they're done. Fez. Oh, there's one more. Jen isn't there. Yeah, not sure about uh, that then. No one called out for help, so I presume they're going to handle it on their own. The reason I always run against the door is so that uh, as soon as the last bit is triggered, that the find the treasure chamber is done, and then we can end it. Looks like my stream froze on my laptop. I'll have to redo that. There's the last gen. There we go. Stream's working now. One last reminder on the schedule for this channel. Um, while we're waiting here at the door. Got Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays covered. <laughs> yeah, Azure. Hey, Dirty Dexter. Yep. It's a flame door that you can run against and not get burned. Or think of it as just a magic barrier done by a flame savant.
<laughs> yeah, this is my first stream where I'm using an IRC client overlay. So you actually see the join part messages in the IRC client, so you can see when people join before they actually say anything. It's a neat little trick. The overlay part is nice because then I don't have to look to the other computer to see chat. I still do sometimes because things scroll too fast because I have a small window, but for the most part... This impressive structure houses the tomb of the Wizard King. <laughs> Epic chests, purple chests of doom. Did Titan go AFK in the quest? So yeah, Titan piked from inside the quest, so now we can't start the second one until he's done. Or we recall reform.
No. So this will be the last one here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, crap. I can't do that. I need to turn it in, don't I? I forgot. I need to turn it in. Sorry, I'll get back to chat here in a second. Let me do some party management and getting this quest back so that I can actually start quests and hopefully somebody will join. I need at least two people to make it quick. No, I do not have really anybody. Alright, so one more whiskey run and then we'll be done for the stream this evening. Again, thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. This impressive structure houses the tomb of appreciate following DDO stream and my own personal channel, Twitch TV slash Morgo. All good stuff. Excuse me, I don't see me lose my voice. Let me take a drink. Oh, hey, Angel Matilda. I know who that is. Hello. See, it's shaping up to be good. Caramel ice cream, that sounds good. And hello, Codman. Hello, Teutonic Drone. Oh, nope, Teutonic Drone left, sorry. Mixed up my joins and parts. Glad everybody tuned in today. Be another, what, 20 minutes to finish this quest and then I'll be done. Been streaming for what? Four hours, ten minutes at this point? So, decent stream. Hey, KW Bonin. Um, yeah, this stream's ending in about 20 30 minutes uh, for me. But uh, I think damsels are on at 2 a.m. in a couple more hours, and then uh, tomorrow noon, Quartervon will be on. Mm -hmm. So there'll be other people on this channel at other times. Good enough. Let's get started. That's what I forgot my celestial fervor thing. 
Yeah, I came. Share the quest of... Wow, that was lag. Thanks. Yep. Um, go to. God, where was that? I just saw one recently. I think you're going to find most staff builds are going to be with the Thief Acrobat trees, so you might try either the multi-class section or the Thief section. Because, um, yeah, you're going to want to take advantage of Thief Acrobat, probably. Probably not a pure... Well, you might. You never know. I can look in after the stream in just a second. I can put something in chat if I find it. I thought I saw it fairly recently. I'll look for it again. You probably want to search for Acrobat. Because that'll give you the Thief Acrobat bit that will uh... I wonder if that skeleton archer hit the mummy and that's why he was attacking him. It's unusual. I don't usually go out like that. Um, I don't know, it kind of depends on what's going on. I try to pop in when I am able to. I don't remember what day that was. But yeah, I remember I did pop in for a little bit. Now that I'm not working, it's so weird. My schedule's all not consistent, so I never know what I'm going to be doing day to day. It's really odd. But yeah, if I'm around when you're streaming, then I usually will try to pop in if I can. Oh, hello, everybody. Thought y'all settled down a bit. There's one me right again. I always try to avoid that. Somehow, always seem to pick it back up. Yeah, it's probably Friday because Thursday around 4 p.m. is when my static group goes, so I usually can't do Thursdays. Stand up so you can knock you down. There we go. Nice and that actually works like it's supposed to. I don't know, maybe it was Thursday then. I don't remember what our static group did.
Oh, he didn't waste any time. Did he? He went right to the knock you down. Look, I can spin. Knock you down. This is where I really want my bracers that have the uh, anti knockdown. You still get knocked around, but you don't get knocked down. That's the key. Yeah, I'm going to try to. <laughs> Skunk, you got a nap? You were going to check on somebody and then you ended up napping, huh? So, yeah. I'm going to try to stream more on my personal channel here in the coming days, maybe. feeling much better than I was previously. Got over most of my illness. And by the way, thanks to... Who was that? It was telling me to get better. Sorry, but between everything going on, I lose some messages sometimes. But I did see your message. I do appreciate you. That was Codman. Thank you for that, Codman. Oh. Oh, is my LFM full? I should probably take it down then. Since we're at the end. Oh, I want to join that Vaughn 5. But I'm going to call it, I think after this, the endless XP grind. Vaughn 5 is such a nice boost to that. Oh, I forgot to get rid of my Ramumi Rot too. Well, well, we have a second. So again, this is more of where you can see me. I have my own channel on Twitch. I have a YouTube channel, my site, Steam ID. Uh, appreciate following on any or all of those. All always good. Uh, Twitch is nice because you get the notifications when I start streaming. And in your favorites list on the website and in the app. And YouTube is good. Of course, whenever I upload a video, you'll be notified there. I usually do upload my uh, DDO streams onto YouTube. So it takes a couple hours, but I usually start it pretty soon after I quit or the next day and uh, have that up. And then DDO stream schedule here. Again, we have Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays covered. People come and go. It's a strictly volunteer community thing. Uh, some people may take a break here and there. Uh, people may come and go, but uh, we try to give you uh, quite a bit of entertainment throughout the week. Uh, something to watch and some people to chat with. So thanks for watching. Again, we do appreciate that. So I'm still running against the door here. We need, looks like one of the towers is weak again. Wait here if you guys want me to wait to finish. Looks like we have, uh, again, Tower 3 is weak. Let's see, there were five of us, two of us in there. That's good. Glad to hear it, Skunk. Ah, uh, Miss have a Queen around. I'm 
remove this curse. All right. There we go. I don't even know about the restoration necessarily. I'll take care of itself, but at least get the mummy rot out. Still a long way to go. Oh. This life, two more lives, you know, one more life in divine, and then uh, the arcane lives are going to be the pain. figure out which arcane destiny to be in for those. Oh. Not looking forward to it. Yes, we're done. I haven't played the pre sequel. I love Borderlands one and two. Somebody get in the treasure chamber? Nah, I'm running to the last tower now. I don't think oh, anybody's okay. been here, so the lever's a fool. Sorry but about if that. you want to end it, it doesn't really make no, a difference no, no. on conquest or anything like that. Go ahead and finish it. I'll I'll wait for you to get there. That's cool. I got really into Borderlands 1, and then the DLC came out, and I didn't play it anymore. <laughs> and then Borderlands 2, I played through DLCs and everything. Well, I didn't finish the last DLC, but I played most of the DLC stuff. And then I didn't get the pre-sequel, so I'll play it at some point. I have to be in the mood to play that game. This is an issue with me not paying attention to where people were going and making sure somebody was on Tower 3. <laughs> yeah. That's all about the way the loot drops and the game flow of Killing. That's a game that really is better in co-op too. I feel. I play it. I play it solo, but it's a lot more fun. I think on co-op. That's why I got through two. Um, the way like I did. Yeah, restless leg syndrome. <laughs> So I had a group, we blew through two because we had a group going. Co-oping, it was a lot more fun, I thought. First time doing Terramorphous and all that stuff was really interesting. But I haven't really, I, that's with people, achievement hunters, 
uh, from Xbox 360 achievements and stuff on Xbox 360 and true achievements and all that. So I haven't touched my 360 and I don't know how long. Kind of gave up on the whole achievement thing. And I never, well, I bought an Xbox One and then I sold it on eBay. I pre ordered one and then sold it on eBay. And haven't got a replacement and don't think I will at this point. But did get a PS4 and play that here and there. Oh, that's right, there should be some free stuff on the PS4 tonight with the new update. The Vita, no, Vita Anniversary? Something like that. There we go. Oops. Rocco. All right. This impressive structure houses the tomb of no one needs it. King. Yeah, I can't remember if. I think Borderlands 2 did give me motion sickness. That was the other thing. I had to take a pop-up hill before I played it so I can get... That's neat. I've heard some things about Sword Art Online. And thanks for joining, Angel Matilda. I don't remember your name on Twitch, but I remember you are one of the Twitch viewers, as was Serial Crumb earlier. Yeah. I really... I still have saved on my PS3 the original Borderlands trailer, which if you've never seen it, you need to go see it and compare it to the what happened with the game because it's completely different <laughs> they went a way different direction with that game it was wow hey leslie you can do that now if you want i'm just about to wrap up so damsels is tonight at 2 a.m um Keep that in mind, everybody. That's in, let's see, what is it? Nine, four and a half hours, something like that. So, yeah. Make sure if you're going to be up that late my time, but uh, maybe early or middle of your time, uh, go ahead and watch them. It's a fun stream. Very different style from me, but it's a good thing. It's. A lot of fun. Um, oops, I keep doing that. I keep doing the wrong scene here. So yeah, damsels at DDO at 2 a.m. Eastern. Uh, this is an on week, so see them on Argo coming up in a couple hours, and then uh, several hours after that will be the weekly Wednesday lunch on live stream of the Cordovan. That's tomorrow at noon, and then the fling at 1:30. Keep that in mind. And uh, again, there's. Uh, my information, if you want to see more of me, I have my own Twitch channel, YouTube, and other things that are on the screen now. Again, thank you all for watching. I appreciate any follows or subscribes on whatever place, media, um, anything like that. Uh, we do appreciate that. Uh, on behalf of the community stream team, 
Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Good night.